In the world of Land of the Lustrous, change in anything is a rarity. With every gem effectively being immortal, and their sole existence being based around fending off an unending army of Lunarians that want to break and steal them, there has been no change in their situation in thousands of years, and as such, no reason for any character to change. This was the status quo until one fateful day when Diamond suggests to Phosphophilite that they try to change themselves for the better. At the beginning of Land of the Lustrous, Foss had no redeeming character traits at all, at least none that made them useful to their society. Having a hardness of 3.5, where the average amongst all of the gems is twice that amount, and very little physical strength, Foss has no hopes of helping in the fight against the Lunarians, in spite of that being what they want to do. Beyond that, everyone expects them to take a more passive role in the fight against them, primarily by researching the island they live on to make a detailed encyclopedia to further their knowledge on the land they fight for. However, they have neither the skill nor will to do such in-depth research. They do find a goal they wish to strive for when they learn that another gem, Cinnabar, is forced to isolate themselves from everyone and work night patrol all alone. Foss can relate and, as such, hopes to find a more pleasant job for Cinnabar that only they can do. Even this goal is out of their reach, though. With no skills whatsoever, Foss spent all 300 years from their birth to the beginning of the story having done absolutely nothing noteworthy in life. The only way for them to change that was to change themselves. Change in the world of the gems is much more dramatic than change in real life. A gem's entire body is composed entirely of that gemstone that they're named after, and throughout that material, that gem's memories and personality traits are evenly distributed. As such, losing any part of their body results in the loss of an equal proportion of who they are. This is rarely an issue as they simply reattach the parts with some assistance. However, as Foss searches for a purpose for Cinnabar, seeing that as their own self-imposed purpose, they lose both of their legs in a way that cannot be recovered, with them sinking to the ocean floor where few gems ever dare to go. With that, their legs are truly gone forever, but it isn't long before some quartz is found to replace them. And this does wonders for them. Some of Foss's memories were missing, sure, but they were still largely the same person, but now much faster than before with the new quartz legs. With this in mind, it serves as no surprise that they considered cutting off their own arms to become even stronger, and even though they opted against going through with this, as if by fate, they were soon lopped off by sheer accident anyways, and once again they couldn't be recovered. Unfortunately, this replacement with a gold alloy, combined with the trauma of watching Antarcticite get shattered and taken by the Lunarians, takes a massive toll on Foss. They may have gotten much stronger, but there was no joy or satisfaction in it. Prior to the loss of their arms, Foss was characterized by their cheery demeanor and carefree attitude. They definitely were aware of how lazy they were, however, and that is the reason they strive to be able to change in the first place. Following the loss of their arms and the effective death of Antarch, there is not a shred of joy left. Every smile they put forth is clearly forced, and they get no joy from finally being able to do battle with the Lunarians like they always wanted. They simply go through the motions and do the job that was assigned to them. They have everything they ever wanted, the ability to fight, a better work ethic, and respect from their peers. And yet they are far from happy, definitely much less happy than they were at the beginning of the show. So much time in the anime adaptation of Land of the Lustrous is spent depicting Foss trying to change themselves for the better, or at least what they perceived to be the better. Unfortunately, they succeeded.